In this short video, Leslie B. DeMille will show us how to draw apples and grapes to demonstrate the curvature and lighting that is used in doing pastel portraits. First of all, when you uh, <clears throat> put the uh, paper on, you kind of run your, run your finger up and down to get the, there's a roughness going up and like a, like a grain almost, and get the smoothest, the smoothest side going down, because most of us work from up to down like that, so it makes it a, a better stroke. So you want to do that. When you get it all set, then you uh, fasten your paper down. <clears throat> this is Condi Crane, and I'm going to tell you to work on the edge, on the flat edge of the Condi Crane. I don't know if this will work or not, but I want to get a little closer to you and show you this edge, not the flat, but the edge all four edges you have, just the sharp edges. Okay, now before you start using this, you have to, you have to go like that a little bit to make sure you get a nice smooth stroke, you see? So, I wanna show you the strokes. There's a nice smooth stroke there, you can get it lighter, see? You get it a little darker, darker and darker. By the way, before I get going to, <clears throat> this board that I have has about a, 10 sheets of uh, newsprint and paper on here to give it a cushion instead of being on a hard board. You wouldn't be able to do this if you were just on a hard board. This way you get a little bit of a cushion that allows you to dig in a little better. So that makes it work. All right. This is how you get your strokes. This is the beauty of the lure. Real deep and then such a nice, delicate stroke that you can make on glaze. I guess you'd say there's a lot of glazing in using the lure paper. If you press on the back edge and let the rest of it go, you end up with a stroke like that or like that you see sharp and blends away to nothing and the opposite way if you go the opposite way see you get a stroke there and blend it away so you can use those kind of strokes throughout your painting either that way or that way and also you can use it of course nice and smooth uh, how do we relate with this? All right, let's uh, let's say we draw a ball. Okay. Now, when you draw a ball, you can do it like that. You don't have to make it round like that. Just do it like this. Get a little character. And uh, let's see, the ball may have a, a little catch of stitching around here like this. Then you can. Make it a little darker. Uh, the lights come, always figure the lights come from this direction. So therefore, it'll be dark here. You see how that works now? Making it dark to light. And here, just a, just a slight glaze. There. Gets dark down here. And shadow is there to make it sit down okay and that's how to create a ball now of course with a little bit of white and the white flat the lights come from here so your lightest light will be approximately in here and so you put a light and then just to blend it away into the shadow like that sharp here along that seam, blend it away into the light so that you have that continuity. Now, if you have stitching on here on the, on the ball, that's fine, show it going in here. 
Now over here, where you have the shadow, let's say that shadow takes up all this room. You can show kind of a reflected light in the shadow to bounce that out a little bit. What I'm talking about is very soft and subtle. And this is where you're using that stroke where you get it sharp and then blend. You know, you, you cannot get the results that you get on this velour paper with any other paper. Of course, I, I, I enjoy working on, on other pastel papers. I, I really enjoy, uh, you know, all of the, uh, the, the papers that there are. But, uh, but with the velour paper, this is a special paper where you can get these special results. All right. You guess you're wondering why we're doing this, apples and whatever. Uh, these items, uh, you know, doing them without doing a portrait. Well, this is important information to assist you in doing portraiture. Uh, in other words, you're getting the, again, how to use the uh, conjure crayon on the velour, soft and hard and uh, blending, etc. So just bear with me on these exercises, and I'm sure that they'll uh, they'll help you in the, in, in the end. Okay, we're going to do another apple. Uh, different shape, more round, and uh, let's put the center of it right in here. There. and uh, shadow. Now this is going to be a yellow or a green apple and in, in, in two tone like this you can't tell the color but you can tell the, the tone value that there is. So let's do this to, to kind of throw out the uh, the image a little better to show the light apple and the shadow that comes off like that. Uh, soft touch, soft, 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 soft. Getting the shadow where the light is coming from. Okay. Now when we add the white, then we can. A nice subtle touch to just to lighten this whole thing here. Subtle, subtle. You see how I can uh, correct that by going over the dark that was there. It makes it easier to uh, to do that. And uh, here. Okay, now I can go lighter here. And here. And around like that. And we'll have a lot more reflected light in here. Than we would have. Alright, now we can put a stem on there. And a little more shadow here and soften the reflected light. But that shows you the difference between the dark apple and the light apple there by, by doing your, using your values. So there you go. All right, let's do a grape. And I'll do a light grape. I'm going to do it pretty pretty large size so you can so you can see uh, what's going on with that. There. There's your grape. Let's make this a light one. So soft touch, glaze, blend. Very, very soft, nice dark shadow. There. 
it's at some point now. Nice bright light there and maybe one in here and then soft over the shape of it. Little reflected light back here. Uh, and there's a uh, there's a uh, a green grid. Now let's do dark red grid. You know they're the, they're the same uh, thing. Let's have this one going this way. And uh, yeah, we'll put this one out here. Okay, dark. Dark. Uh, softer touch. Dark. Shadow. Stem. Right. Now the light on this one will be subtle. Soft, soft. Very subtle. And then there will be a sharp light there hitting that grape. And the reason I did these, we're doing portraits, right? We're doing faces, heads. But the reason I did these is that it's the same thing that you're doing here as you do on a head. In other words, you've got the shape, you've got the tone values of the different complexions and hair and stuff, and you have the light direction and showing where the light hits and where it blends around and hits and blends around and reflected lights in here. So. It's all relative. The only thing, the only difference is that you're using an eye, nose, and mouth. And uh, by the way, we're going to get into doing an eye, nose, and mouth. Thank you for viewing this lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. Be sure to check out other Master Artist lessons on our YouTube channel.